Yeah, and we've got some martial arts demonstrations going on here in Baker Park. Again, go to Frederick.com keyword July 4th in Lionel Lock. And Hobby Town USA always has a setup here July 4th. These kids can uh, enjoy their cars. Whoops, that one just burned out a little bit there. There's another one coming right at us. Look at this. Wow, it's hard to follow them. Look at that. Look at that. That's what you call a close-up. July 4th celebration in Baker Park. We're here at the Chili Cook-Off. It's uh, always a popular event, 4th of July. Can you spoon a little bit of that up? Let's take a look here. What we got. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Now, is that a secret recipe? Well, it's something I've developed over the years. All right. And can you give us just one tip for folks that like to make chili at home? Get a nice sneaky afterburn in your spices. Okay, now how do you do that? It's a lot of it's experimentation. I have a number of different spices that I use, and it's, it's a matter of finding the right combination among all the, all the so various spices. Practice. How many years have you been making chili? Well, I've been competing at the Frederick Cook Offs since 1993. Wow. And, and have you won it before? I finished second. That's how I got this pot. Okay. And uh, finished third a few times, and then I uh, compete in the International Chili Society circuit all through the Mid-Atlantic so, states. So have they judged yet today? Not yet. Oh, so you're going for first place today, hopefully. Always, always shoot for the moon, yes. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, likewise, we have many corporate sponsors, so we do greatly appreciate that, and without them, we'll be hard-pressed to put on this event the way we do. Uh, and finally, I'd like to thank our police department, the sheriff's department, for coming here and helping um, uh, you know, keep an eye on things, make sure we're staying uh, in order so we don't end up in front of Judge Tisdale, who's also here today. Um, and lastly, you see everything that's set up here. Um, in just a day or two, you won't recognize that this party's happened. Our Department of Public Works, our Parks and Recreation Department, uh, do a tremendous job cleaning up afterwards. So please make your job a little bit easier when you're uh, out and about and make sure when you're done with something you get it to the right uh, trash can or wherever it needs to go. So I have a proclamation here and I'm going to present this to a uh, one of our uh, longtime outstanding officers, Lieutenant Stephen Poole. Uh, Freddie Police Department, 150th anniversary day, July 4th, 2008. Whereas the year 2008 marks the 150th anniversary of the Frederick Police Department, and whereas the mission of the Frederick Police Department is to provide professional police services in partnership with our community, and whereas the Frederick Police Department was officially organized in 1858 with a captain and two constables, and whereas today the Frederick Police Department's authorized strength is 145 sworn officers and 41 civilian employees, and whereas it is important that all citizens know and understand the duties, responsibilities, hazards, and sacrifices of their law enforcement agency, and that the members of our law enforcement agency recognize their duty to serve the people by safeguarding life and property, by protecting them against violence and disorder, and by protecting the innocent, innocent against deception and the weak against oppression, and whereas the 150th anniversary of the Freddie Police Department commemorates the celebrated history of the agency and the benefits that the people of Frederick have enjoyed as a result of the proud tradition of that organization. Therefore, be it resolved that I, William J. Holtzinger, Mayor of the City of Frederick, take great pleasure in recognizing the Frederick Police Department and its celebration of its 150th anniversary by proclaiming July 4, 2008 as Frederick Police Department 150th Anniversary Day and acknowledge with great pride the positive impact of the agency and the community it serves. Steve, thank you very much for your service.